saints, TIs, children of the most highs. Yes, I'm back. And as it is expected, been sabotaged again. I, uh, yeah, I basically have had my computer hacked out the wazoo and my internet and my phone. And the phone, the weird thing with the phone is, if I want to take a picture of something important to show, share with y'all, my family, my true family, it won't work. And it says file, um, file full or something like that. And I deleted half the pictures and half the text messages and it still says file full. But if I want to just take a picture of something in the room that meaningless, then it works. Anyway, so I wanted to say that's why I haven't been on along with another adventure in targeting, another adventure in being a saint of the Most High God. Uh, they were going to try to have me as a satanic sacrifice. Not a joke. But praise Yahweh, the one true God, Father God in heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and the Holy Spirit. He guided me out of there. That is an adventure. Let me tell you, first off, this is my fourth take. Boy, this takes a long time just to get one video out. They cut me off the first time at 111. <laughs> the second time and third time, I don't even know. But anyway, it is 747. Woohoo! Sis! Says Karen, you know what that is. We're about to fly. 7.47. I'm really not joking. I didn't even plan this. Well, my phone says 7.46, but my inter my laptop says 7.47. So anyway, that's funny. Um, it is March 13th, 2018, and I have been through his L again. Now, first, before I go into my long A story, um, I wanted to give a shout out to um to let's see there's one two three four five brothers and sisters in christ that because of your kindness and your donations even if y'all gave like 25 dollars, it added up i'm here till the end of the month praise yahweh and just so y'all can see i normally just have it on my bed but it's too wibbly i started noticing i'm going like this <laughs> i'm all shook up uh -huh. <laughs> they play that wherever i I walk into places and they'll play that. They'll play private eyes. They're watching you. Or they'll play, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Or the special one for me, because I'm not in New Orleans anymore, they'll play um, the House of the Rising Sun. There is a town in New Orleans, the Rising Sun, anyway. Long story short, too late. This is my humble abode. It's just one room, and then behind that door is Oscar the Grouch. Okay. Sesame Street. I don't know what made me think of that. It was my bath, my bathroom. But because of y'all's kindness, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to y'all. First off, Terry, thank you so much. I'm not going to say y'all's last names now. If y'all email me and say you can say my full name, I will if you want me to. Terry, uh, Michelle, and her husband Raul, Marco Polo. I'm sure you get told that a lot. Marco and Michael S. Thank you so much. And then a, a special shout out to my sis in Christ, another saint that she doesn't want her name, um, you know, said, but I can tell you it starts with a J, like Jesus. But anyway, thank you so much, sister. It meant so much to me because I know she's being attacked, y'all. This, this lady is a true saint. She's being attacked. She doesn't have much. But she shared with me, and that's what the body of Christ does. We're all family. And I, I'm sorry, I wasn't even sad. It just, it really touched me, because my own old friends have been turned into, they've been turned into perps. One girl that I was so excited to start talking to again after the Lord told, told me not to talk to her for three years. Well, since I'm in the area where she's at, we started talking again, and yeah, I think they got to her. I'm praying that it's not true, but it looks like it is. But she didn't even offer to help. You know, old friends from 30 years ago, but true saints of the Most High God, we help each other. You know, even if it's just, hey, you can come sleep on my floor or whatever we have. You need a shirt? And she freaking is going through being slammed herself. And uh, 
uh, prayers out to you, sister. Um, you mean a lot to me, and just your friendship and your fellowship, it means a lot to me. And we have to help each other in this in this final hour. We are in the end hour. Anyway, because of y'all, y'all true saints and, and God's elect, I'm able to stay here till the end of the month. And I wanted to welcome y'all to my humble abode. It's just one room. It's really messy. I didn't even clean it because just all the stuff going on, it's really hard just to just to function normally, y'all, because it's like we're such in a battle. I, I'm literally, they try to hit me with cars whenever I go to walk my dog. Like literally about every third time I walk my dog, they try to hit. It just happened about an hour and a half ago. Um, I was going down my driveway with my dog and there's nobody on the street. There's no cars parked. I'm on a little side street and there's nothing right here. And three women, witches, yeah, the Lord showed me they were witches and all had on red, two had on red shirts and one had on a red shirt and a red hat in a van down by the river, swerved from one side of the street. I mean, literally, this is me coming down the driveway. I get to the end. And they're coming this way. They come right here and then they swerve and literally came like within inches of the driveway. And I stood my ground. I did not flinch. And I stared the driver right in the eye. And then I looked at the other one and they were all laughing. They thought I was going to get freaked out. And instead, I just stood there. And then they backed up and they were acting like they were going to park in front of the little place I have. Which, why are they parking here? The whole street is empty and there's nothing else here. And as soon as they started to back up, the Lord said, go, go forward and look them right in the eye. And they're scared of us, y'all. Tar targeted individuals, you have been blessed by the most high God. You have power. If you have, to, if you've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, you have a mighty power through him. It's not by our own power, but it's by our father in heaven. Okay. so. If you don't target in individuals, you need to because it's really hard without the Lord on this walk. And you might not make it if you if you don't have him. Okay? I'm not saying I don't know. I don't know what God has in store, but you know, he's calling you to accept his son Jesus Christ, and that is the only way to the Father is through the Son. But anyway, so the Lord told me instructed me to go forward. They were going to like park right there. And I just started walking. I didn't flinch. I wasn't mad. I was just like, you know, you know, you, you were trying to hit me, literally hit me, came onto the driveway. And now you're going to laugh about it. Right. And so I went forward and I made eye contact with the driver and with the other girl. I could see another girl in the background, but I didn't look at her. She was like, you know, in the back seat. I mean, and as I did, and I looked at both of them, they took off. They actually looked like they were scared. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm also going to tell y'all, when I was lured um, to this, I guess they were going to do a satanic sacrifice, but praise Yahweh, praise the Lord that he gave me strength. Here's what happened. So I got lured by, guess what? Another military dude. Yep, another military guy. Military people, I don't hate y'all. One of my friends is ex-military. He's under heavy mind control, and I pray for him all the time. Sorry. Every time I do a video, my nose starts to itch. Every time. It's bizarre. Now, I've noticed a couple other sisters in Christ have this. It's like an attack. But anyway, oh, y'all want to see how I drink my water? Because I only have one cup. <sighs> Delicious. I'm sorry. It's like I have to drink a lot of water. TIs, you need to drink a lot of water. They deplete us with all this, with the stress. It's really important that y'all do that. It, try to drink at least a gallon a day if you can, maybe more. But, um, oh, I wanted to welcome y'all to my humble abode. Because of y'all, y'all people that I just said, Terry, uh, Michael, Sis J, uh, Michelle and Raul, husband and wife, and and Marco, I'm able to stay here until the end of the month. <laughs> and got a coffee maker for four dollars. No, no, we don't need Lena drinking any more coffee. 
And I bought a little skillet. That's my kitchen, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like a makeshift kitchen. But hey, it works. And then behind that door is the price is right. Price is wrong. No, okay. That's my bathroom. And then this is my bed. This is also my sofa. It's also my table that I eat on because I'm messy. Really messy. <laughs> Okay, so that's enough about me. I just wanted to say thank y'all so much. It really, really, really helped me. It really touched my heart. So what had happened was um, March 1st, before my phone and my laptop and my internet got disabled again, um, uh, Brother in Christ, shout out to you, Servants Research Ministry. If y'all haven't seen that and you're a targeted individual, you got to watch it. He is awesome. And he talks about that we are angels. We're angels elect. And you know how in the Bible it says, um, be careful when you entertain a stranger for you will be, you may be entertaining an angel unaware. Well, the Lord just gave me re revelation on that, that I thought it meant back in the day, I thought it meant that, um, you know, if you welcome someone in as a stranger, they might be an angel, but you don't know it. However, the Lord's showing me that it also means that we who are angels that elected to come back during this final hour and battle these fallen aces, that's why they're on us so hard, saints. That is why. Because they know who we are and they are scared of us. Look how many of them it takes around one of us. And I will say it again. You witches, warlocks, Satanists, voodoo practitioners, gang stalkers, Santeria practitioners, Eastern stars, Freemasons, and all the gaggle of gang stalkers, you could not stand one day, one day in, in, in our place. No way. You wouldn't do it. So, yeah, we are strong, but we're strong because we have the Holy Spirit. And if you don't, T.I.s, I'm begging you to ask Father into your heart, to ask Jesus to reveal himself to you. And he will. And it doesn't mean you're perfect. Man, I slipped up and drank. I drank, I mean, drank, drunk, drink. But I really, I'm starting to believe that the Lord is freeing me from that. It's like something is being lifted off this last test that I had. So, Servants Research Ministry, and I won't say your name unless you, you tell me I can, but he had texted me and he said, I just saw a chariot of fire and I have it on my phone. And he sent it to me and I was like, my phone was working then. I said, no way. I saw that same thing last night, but I didn't know what I was looking at. I knew the Lord had guided me to it, right? So about 30 minutes after we get off the phone, the Lord said, go look out the window. This was March 1st. And I look out the window and there's one out there. And what it is from the naked eye, it looks like a star blinking. And it's like, you know, I guess it looks like it's got like five little, little light flecks around it and it looks like different little colors blinking and then it gets a little bit closer so i decided to take a video of it which i'm going to show y'all hopefully if they don't cut my ace off but i'll come back i am going to get this out here and uh so i go out and i film it with my little bitty crappy camera phone the cheapest phone you can get which i don't care cause i don't want anything i don't need anything fancy and Hold on. Sorry, my dog was. Anyway, um, yeah, and so when I video it, when I vi I'm sorry, my dog is acting really weird. They, they hit her too, y'all. They, they they're relentless. This little dog is five pounds. She's harmless. She's an older, poor little thing, and they attack her all the time. So pre please, if y'all can, say prayers for my little girl. The reason I don't put her on here is because they do spells with pictures and stuff. I don't care that they're on me, man. The Lord's got my ace, but he has her ace too, but it's still, you know, it's like I'm protecting her like how a mom protects their kid. Anyway, long story short, the, the, the thing to my naked eye went like this. But when I videoed it, it zigzagged all over the place. And my friend that's uh, Servants Research Ministry, again, T.I.'s, you have to watch his, I'm serious, he's awesome. And he gives a lot of good information. 
but had the same exact thing. And I'm going to show it to y'all. But so I got that filmed and I was so excited. It was late that night. So I was really tired. I didn't want to do it. So my bad. The next morning I was so excited. I'm going to put it on. Nope. They got my internet down. My internet was down and uh, they said it would be down for a day or two. So then I was lured by a military man. Yep. Uh, y'all military, I don't hate y'all, by the way. I don't know if I already said this or not because I'm rambling because I can't believe they haven't cut me off yet. But I don't hate y'all. But you got to realize that you're working for Satan, okay? Most military know what they're doing, the high ups anyway. And then the lower lower ones like E4s and people like that, um, like my like my friend. They're totally brainwashing. They go into it wanting to do good and protect our country. And I appreciate y'all. Even the police, I don't want y'all to think I hate the cops. Now, New Orleans, NOPD, not our problem, dude. They did set me up. They set my ace up. They falsified documents. They did all kinds of stuff. I went to internal affairs. They took my deposition for four hours and then told me they couldn't do anything about it because they weren't going to go against the police. I went to Jackie Clarkson which is high up councilwoman back then, back in the day. This was like years ago. Wouldn't help. Just listen to me. And then they're like, oh, okay, she knows too much, right? Get her. But they haven't been able to get, get me, praise Yahweh, until it's time for us to go home. TIs have no fear. If you have the Holy Spirit, he is protecting us. But anyway, so see how I ramble? ADD? Yeah, you know me. So... I was so excited and then I can't get the video. So then this person that is pretending to be my friend, another gang stalking military person, you know, I wanted to give the benefit of the doubt. And I said, well, maybe if I go there, I can get online. And it was an innocent adventure where we were supposed to go to the spiritual place and then you can pray. And he was going to meditate and all this stuff. It was a setup to be a satanic sacrifice. Not a joke, y'all. And I had promise you i had i'm looking y'all in the eye i had between 25 to 35 i didn't count them but just like a visual of them satan worshiping witches around me and they actually they saw my dog course and they looked at me and one of them goes a man said he'll take care of her and i said take care of her what are you talking about he'll take your dog for you i said I'm not giving my dog away. And they all looked at each other and laughed like, ha, 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 well, you'll be dead. So we'll have your dog, right? And then one of them even made a comment about, yeah, she looks good to eat, but there's not a lot there. Now tell me that's not creepy. And it was right before midnight. And I just said, Father, I don't know where I'm at. I have no way back. I always get attacked, by the way, when I do videos, and I've noticed a couple other sisters in Christ have the same thing. When my nose starts itching, it's it's bizarre. And used to, I'd have coughing. Now it's changed to my nose itch. And my nose didn't itch until I started this. So anyway, the old saying, when your nose itches, that means somebody's thinking of you. Well, probably there's a lot of them thinking of me because they're trying to ruin this video, but it's going to go out by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I haven't been on in so long, almost two weeks. I'm just so excited to tell you all this special thing. So this is how powerful our God is. So all of them against me, and I just started praying. I said, Father, you showed me who, who I am. And another brother and sister in Christ, you know who you are, already confirmed to me, told me before I knew, or I knew, but I didn't say anything. That's what it was. Um, who I was and the Lord told me and I said if if I am who you say I am no I'm not singing an Eminem song <laughs> um, then help me get out of this and he told me just to start praying against it so I started praying against it and I promise y'all within I'd say 10 minutes all the witches and all the Satanists that were circled literally circled around me fled there was two standing and those two, a man and a woman, looked at each other like, what do we do now? And I walked right in the middle of both of them and walked out the door. And I started praising the Lord Jesus Christ, praising Yahweh and the Holy Spirit. And it reminded me of when Jesus was going to be, he was confronted, surrounded by a crowd and of haters, gang stalkers. And um, he was going to be pushed over the cliff and he parted the, uh, the crowd and walked on by. 
walk on by. Well, that's what we can do. If you have the Holy Spirit, you have the power to trample over snakes and scorpions and nothing shall in any way harm, harm y'all. So I want to tell y'all that I get literally about every three to four times I go out to walk my dog, I get somebody tries to hit me with a car. It's gotten that bad. It's ramped up over the last couple months because they know who we are in the Lord Jesus Christ and they are scared of us. So stand your ground, saints, targeted individuals, but you must, you must accept Jesus Christ to have this power because it's him working through us. Okay, so getting back to, I filmed that thing and Servants Research Ministry also filmed it the same night. And I had seen it the night before, but I didn't film it because I wasn't sure what I was looking at. He saw it again last night and filmed it and I tried to film it and they've shut my phone down again. But anyway. This is weird. So I get sent this and they said, look at this. It's from the same person. Again, this is off my phone. Our West Coast news. So the question is, what was that UFO? What was it doing over Jerusalem? And, you know, is he back? Yeah, and that is the question, by the way, Megan, because, you know, critics, it's it's difficult for them to dismiss this because there are so many different angles. Sorry, it We've takes a minute. Different videos, all from various perspectives, uh, showing this light above the Dome on the Rock. In Jerusalem, the Temple Mound, of course, we know which is a holy site for both uh, Jews and Muslims. You see the shining ball of light, right? It's above there. It's kind of what I saw, y'all. Just frozen. I really can't see it now, but there it is, right there. It's at the top of the screen. Yeah. It's up there, and it hovers, kind of a pulsating orb. And then hold on here because this thing starts going down. Right okay. Toward, I don't want to get a copyright down. straight, but the name of this is called. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll just tell you. It's called. It just came out. It's called UFO over Jerusalem. Must watch. 2017. But they're just showing it. And another one just came out, uh, I think it was like a week ago. I never saw this video. I've never seen this video. And now it goes along with what I did film. And I'm going to show y'all. Please, Lord, let me get this out. And I'm sorry for the bad, bad, bad quality because I'm not a techie. Scrolling, scrolling down the river. <laughs> Sorry. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh. Oh, snap. Went too far. Don't even tell me it's gone. Okay. Again, talk amongst yourselves. I'm sorry. Takes me a minute. See, they're messing with my phone again. I think I found it. This is it. It is March 1st, 2018. It is about 30 minutes before midnight. Full moon, the witching hour. And I was not wiggling the phone, y'all. A chariot of fire. Yep. I'm zoomed all the way in with just a little crappy phone. This is all the way out. Now I'm going to zoom back in. That is way up in the sky, y'all. Unbelievable. They are coming for us. Whoa! Regulators see that, mount up. See that weird wiggling? I didn't move the phone. March 1st, 2018. It is about 30 minutes before. Yeah. So then after that is when, and then here's just a, one picture of it. That's, I mean, I have look, like a really cheap phone. Anyway, so what it looked like to my naked eye was just a pulsing light, like what they just described that they saw over Jerusalem. And uh, I guess this was the end of 2017, which I guess is, you know, when the Lord is saying, hey, you're, this is your warning time. But now I got the sniffles, man, and I'm not sick. It's like only when I do videos. It's weird. 
anyway, um, and, and Servants Research Ministry saw the same thing the same day. Again, I saw it last night. This time, there was at least 10 to 12, but my phone would not let me take pictures. It said storage full. That's what it said. I deleted half my pictures and half my text messages, and it still says storage full. However, today, it miraculously worked again. So something is up with that. So let me tell you what else I found about that. Um, there is... There is another video that was out, and I wish I would have thought it, wrote it down, but it just came out where this just happened, y'all. So y'all probably are familiar with it, where they saw a bunch of ziggle zaggly lights, and it was on the news, and they they said that it was seagulls. These things were not seagulls; they were like ziggling all over the place, and it was like spirits or bodies of light. This is interesting. Only the Lord can show us this, y'all. Sigils, the Lord showed me this. I was led to a website about symbols used in witchcraft and stuff. And the symbols are actually called sigils. And they're spelled S-I-G-I-L-S. -I but it's, it's, they call them seagulls. Seagulls, seagulls. And what is a seagull? Kid you not. It's connected to a set of ideas by which spirits or deities may be summoned and the lights they called seagulls right this is crazy so it's almost like they're trying to say okay we know it's chariots of fire coming in but we're not going to technically say it they hide everything in plain sight y'all everything so isn't that amazing then the lord um the lord guided me to isaiah Kid you not, after the chariots of fire that we saw, fire, fire, fire in the hole that I keep getting. The Lord guided me to Isaiah. I flipped right open to it, like I do. Isaiah 6, 6, 1, 5. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Yeah, chariots of fire. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Um, then I'm going to skip. Okay, remember I had the dream about the two white horses. Well, I had two more dreams today. The first dream was about two horses that were being, I was actually leading them. Like It reminded me of I led horses in a Mardi Gras parade one time. Yeah, I went to Mardi Gras parade. a long time ago. Anyway. In a place far away. And she looked like this. Tell them Lodge Modge sent you. <laughs> anyway, I better hurry up because they're going to cut me off. Um, anyway, in the first dream today, March 13th, but it was, you know, this morning, I dreamt I was leading two horses. There was a, there was actually a witch. In my dreams, I can see y'all witches. The Lord gives me discernment to see the workers of iniquity in my dreams, I'll see their faces. However, God's team, I'm not allowed to see. I might have seen maybe one or two, but I'll know sometimes who they are. I'll be able to discern are they man or woman, but it's always a bright white light. I never see a face of our team. However, Satan's team, I see y'all's aces. Yep, sure do. And one of them's my neighbor. Imagine that. There's a bunch of neighbors. Won't you be my scaber? Slaver. That made no sense. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap this up. Wrap it up. Um, okay. And I was, and I walked and there was two horses and I was leading them and there was a witch and a dude. And I think the dude was like halfway good and halfway bad. He was like confused because there was a somewhat of a light with him, but she was definitely evil and she was trying to harm me and the horse stepped on her foot. <laughs> But I was leading two horses out. And it was out of my old neighborhood when I was a kid. So to me, it meant like symbolic of, you know, where I was from, from my home. Hello. So now that's four horses. Could that be the four horses of the apocalypse? I don't know. You tell me. Then the other dream, now this was kind of weird. It was some men sitting at a, at a computer screen. It reminded me of mission control. And I have... Yeah, I have knowledge of that. Just I'm all I'm not gonna say that, but somebody that I'm close with was was you know involved. 
anyway, back in the day, in, in the day, anyway, I just sneezed. This is weird. I, I'm, I really haven't had anything, any problems, but anyway. Um, and they're sitting in front of a screen. I'm looking because this is how they looked to me. It was, they were looking to the right. And there was a screen, a computer screen, and there was a whole line of them, like at Mission Control and NASA. And they were about to push a button. And the Lord showed me in the dream that each button was connected to someone's DNA. And they could blow up these people, kill them with one push of a button. Yeah, I woke up. So I just wanted to put that out there. If y'all don't know the Jesus, if y'all don't know the Jesus, nobody Fs with the Jesus. Off the Big Lebowski. <laughs> it was a funny movie. Nobody else with the Jesus. That was my favorite part. But anyway, if y'all don't know Jesus,